Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am on my treadmill doing a getting a walk in. I got to speed this thing up. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, but that's okay. Hold on. I got to get used to this thing. Um yeah. Okay. It's counting down, y'all. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, we're going to start off something. But I'm going to increase this because this is too slow. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to flip my camera around and show y'all. See, I'm on my treadmill walking. I've done a review on it beforehand. So just showing it to you guys that I am on my treadmill. I have my water. I got my watch on, which I need to set it to um walking on um, things about it um okay so i got my watch on walking i've done a review on this watch before in a video it's the Yay May, Y-A-M-A-Y watch, I think it's called, it's called. I ordered it off walmart.com. I flipped it back around. Last, last month, yeah, last month, I went to the doctor. And, um, this is a health update. And this is, you know, going to show y'all what I'm starting to do for my health. Um, again, which I'll, um walk a while i'll eat good a while and then i'll fall off because i guess i get bored okay so i went to the doctor everything was fine my a1c was below seven it was steady um everything was good except for my b12 and it wasn't up enough and i have been on b12 pills for probably the last i don't know a few months and so she put me on the shots, which is fine with me, to get my B12 up because I have, she's trying that because I'm tired. Uh, they call it fatigue, you know, I'm tired and stuff. I have no energy and everything. And she says it could also be my testosterone because I do have PCOS. It could be, um, I think high. I think that's what it's supposed to be or it might be too i don't know if it's too low too high or something you that's one of the things you have lack of energy so she's trying me on the b12 to see how it comes up and it helps with if it helps with my fatigue and everything it does help i am still tired some but not like i was so i don't know when i go back again in a couple of months i'll see then but um, I'm still taking my Trulicity. Uh, I'm still, you know, taking my other prescription meds and my over-the-counter stuff that, you know, I'm not going to go into details about all that stuff. Because the stuff that I take, I'm not telling you to take this stuff. I'm just telling you, you know, you need to see a doctor if something is going on with you and see what your doctor says. But that's a health update. And I will show you guys what I'm eating. I have filmed that already. I'm going to link it to this video. Um, but this morning for breakfast, I ate an egg and two pieces of bacon and a piece of toast. And I had some coffee and that was it. And for lunch, I ate a pasta salad. And I know some people say, oh, pasta, you know, you shouldn't be eating pasta and carbs. You know what? I'm going to eat my carbs, okay? I'm going to eat my carbs. And what I'm thinking about doing, I do need to cut back on some carbs, but not all carbs. I'm not cutting them out. I'm not doing no carb. That is not happening. But I measured out my pasta and everything. So it was probably about the normal serving of carbs and pasta whatever it is so um i measured it out and um tonight we're having 
tacos, which I um, have already, <laughs> I already filmed that. And he was like, well, how did you film it? You're having it tonight. You ain't even cooked it yet. Well, I cooked it in a previous, I cooked it previously, like, last week. I think it was week last week, and I filmed it. And so it's just going to be the same thing again. So I'm just going to link that in with this one to show you guys what I am eating. And it's going to be just tacos. That's what I'm, we're having tonight. It's the same thing. It's nothing different. So I'm just showing you guys. But, um, I was going to wait and walk outside later on this evening, but it's supposed to rain here. Starting at four, I think. And from four all the way to like nine o'clock or so tonight. It's supposed to storm some and rain. So, yeah, I will be in the house. So, uh, right now, we are walking on the treadmill. And I'm going to start using this treadmill more than what I do. Um, I like admit, I don't use it like I need to. So, my goal is to at walk at least four times a week. Whether it be on the treadmill or outside. But if it's too hot, I'm not walking outside. And walk for at least 20 to 30 minutes depending you know and everything so yeah I don't know how long I've been walking now but um it's got a timer on there whenever it goes back around to the time I look at it I'm looking down at it in case you're wondering six minutes and something so yeah so I'll probably walk till I don't know I'll walk a little bit more I don't know how long but yeah so that's the update you guys and like I said my goal is to eat good I got to track I do have an app to track in I got to start tracking um, but I'm trying to do it mindfully where I don't have to track and just know okay and how much I can and cannot have because sometimes I don't always my hands going to sleep so I'll switch hands sometimes I don't always work um, but I'm just trying to do it mindfully, like I said, if possible. Um, and just, you know, know what I'm eating and not track it. But I feel like I need, do need to probably start tracking. But that's the plan. Just basic plan. Just basically walk, eat good, decent, eat, eat good, drink my water. Try to eat mindfully. If I feel like that's not really working... I need to track but I still need to track anyway so, so see how many carbs and calories and all that I am eating fat and all that stuff and everything so yeah but normally in the morning time like during the week for breakfast I'll have a protein coffee and I won't eat anything I'll just have a protein coffee and for lunch I'll eat just something good for lunch depending on what it is um and then i try to plan something out good for dinner just it depends so i basically eat like three meals a day i don't really eat in between i really don't if i do it's rare like um i think one night we're having chicken and cheese quesadillas and with mine, um, I'm going to put bell pepper, onion, and tomato in there for some vegetables. And that's another thing I'm doing. I'm trying to do more vegetables and less fruit. Now, I can have some fruit that won't shoot my sugar up. Like, I can have... Um, Like strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, something in the berry family like that. But, don't get me wrong, I like those. I really do. I like those. But I'm trying to eat more vegetables, like I said. You know, and everything. In my pasta salad I had at lunch, I had some tomato in it. You know. Um, but, yeah, so. And there's some, th what, there's some things that I do need to cook corners that like I need to do like light mayo 
instead of full fat. That's just my personal preference. If you want to do full fat, go ahead. Now, right now, I'm doing full fat, but I feel like light mayo would probably be better when I have it on like a sandwich or a pasta salad or whatever I'm having it in or on. Um, anyway, so that's about the only time I eat mayonnaise if I put it on a sandwich or a hamburger or <clears throat> in a salad or something. So that's the, you know, I just need to cut corners in some places or cut, you know, switch over, switch things over. I think, you know, alternatives and all that stuff and everything and um, set my carbs at a certain number and don't go, you know, try not to go over that number. If I go over a few, it's nothing to really fuss about. But yeah, so I am going to walk some more. Let's see where I'm at on time wise. 11 minutes, I think, is this how long I've been talking to y'all, according to the timer on here. Oh, it's 10 minutes actually on here. Okay. That's right, it says I stopped it and then started it again. Alright, but I'm going to link that other one in here. And if I don't say it at the end of that video, everybody take care and stay safe out there. And I will film more stuff of what I'm doing during the week, what I'm eating, you know, walking and stuff like that. If it's not too hot, like I said, I will walk outside, but if not, then I'll walk in the house. So, but anyways, that's it for today's video. Like I said, I'm going to hook something on the end of this one. And until next time, I will see y'all then, everybody. Take care out there. Okay, y'all, I want to show y'all something right quick. Um, what I'm drinking, putting in my water to drink my water. I have these Hawaiian Punch. So if you like Hawaiian Punch, these are really good. These are sugar free. These are the Greenberry Rush. If you like that flavor, you like these because you know, um, no, no disrespect to Hawaiian Punch because I like me some Hawaiian Punch Greenberry Rush, but it's got a lot of sugar in it. I can't drink it. So if you have that thing that same issue now they got other flavors too y'all they have um the blue typhoon the fruit punch the grape out i think but i found these at a dollar store called roses if you have them check it out and see if they got them in there i'm not sure if they're in other stores they may be but anyway so i put these in my water just put in a bottle of water just whichever you know you choose and shake it up and then i pour it and a cup over some ice and that's my water so it's just showing up to get to y'all guys of my water and everything and i also wanted to show y'all something else let me pause this right quick okay i want to show y'all my peanut butter banana protein shake coffee protein drink shake one of them i will fix for either breakfast or sometimes as an early afternoon pick me up just depends but this is I'm showing you what I have I have coffee here this is cold brew coffee um, and I have my banana flavored protein shake now I premier protein is about the only one I can find I think that still does banana Walmart used to do banana in their brand but I can't find them anymore so I get these um, and everything so yeah i get these and i got pb2 um that i put in there or sometimes i will get the other there's another brand of powder peanut butter but i will get that if you can have peanut butter some people have the al peanut allergy please do not if you know you're allergic to it please do not I repeat do not put it do not do this unless you can unless like I said you can but if you have a peanut allergy and you cannot have this or regular peanut butter please don't do this but anyway so all I do is like I said the coffee premier protein the PB2 and some sweetener I like the blue packs so this is what I normally get and I just put it in like a shaker bottle this is just a shaker bottle I got from Walmart and just shake it up and have it like I said, for a morning drink or either a early afternoon pick-me-up. Now, if I use a blender, I will do the coffee, the Premier Protein Banana Flavor Protein Drink, the sweetener, and regular peanut butter. Just depends um, and everything. So, yeah. 
So I have this one here. You can use whatever peanut butter you prefer. This is just the one I have on hand. But yeah, so that's just something I want to show you guys. But um, I'm going to add this in with um, the video um, of me walking and showing you what I'm eating for supper. But yeah, that's just another recipe I'm showing you guys of what um, I do for protein and everything and all that stuff. But yeah, so um, I will see you next time. Okay, you guys, I thought I would add this in with my video. I know at the end of the video, I said I'll everybody take care and stay safe and I'll see you in my next video but I decided to add in I'm having tacos for supper so I'm just showing y'all and I told you I was gonna show y'all you know what I was gonna have but this is ground turkey meat is what this is um, I gotta add the seasoning in there this is ground turkey cuz I'm like I said I'm eat, gonna eat better and then I did now today I've done really well I had my iced protein coffee for breakfast for lunch. I had Subway. And we're having tacos tonight. So, like I said, this is a ground turkey. Let me show you what all I have to go with my tacos. Okay, I turned the light on. But we have lettuce. This is lettuce. I just tore apart this iceberg. I just put in this bag. We have some sour cream. This is regular sour cream. Uh, for now, I do get light sometimes, but this is regular. We got some mild taco sauce. Oh, I do it. Okay, here's. We got the mild taco seasoning with 30% less sodium to go into the taco meat. We got. I found these shells at my Dollar General. Okay, this is what they are: Casa de Oro taco shells. These are the crunchy. The reason I got these is I've gotten them before, and when I did, I looked at the label. Y'all, you can have three. For 120 calories, 6 grams of fat, 16 carbs for 3. So these are the hard shells, the crunchy ones. So yeah, got those. Um, in the bowl here, I got cut up tomato. Um, the bowl is in through the ringer, so don't look at it. But this tomato got cut up. And we got some cut up bell pepper. So that's what I'm putting on my taco. And when I get it put together, I will show you guys. But okay. Okay, you got. Okay, you guys. I got them put together. My tacos. I even got. I forgot to get the cheese out a while ago, but I got some cheese. It's just some taco blend cheese, finely shredded cheddar, and Monterey Jack with taco seasoning. So I got that. So this is what I'm having for my dinner. I got everything on there that I showed you guys. So yeah, this is just one thing I'm having. Well, the only thing I'm having for dinner, but anyway, so like I told you, I did, you know, I told you what I had earlier today, but yeah. So, I'm gonna, like I said, try to film more videos of different things besides just grocery haul and all that stuff. But okay. Anyways, that is it. Alright then.